We've seen in the quick start that in Angular, we can decorate a class with extra info using the at syntax, like so. So if you remember, we can use a decorator called component, which can decorate the class it's written next to. This is a new feature that will probably make it into the ES7 version of JavaScript. It's not available right now, however, even in the ES6 version. However, the functionality is available in TypeScript, so we can already make use of it. It allows us to decorate classes and functions similar to annotations in Java and decorators in Python. Specific Angular implementations might be more complex and harder to read and understand, but actually the concept is really quite simple. So I'm going to explain this by creating a decorator called at course for our person class. So it's just going to look like that, just at symbol and then the string course. So at course, this decorator is, is actually just a function. So we can create a function called course and that gets passed something called a target. And that's it, a decorator is actually just a function. And that's all it is, a function that gets past the thing that it's decorating. So the thing that it's decorating is a class of person. And actually specifically in this case, it's getting past something called the function constructor for that class, the, the under the hood implementation of a class. And knowing this, knowing what the target is, we can actually dynamically add a function to our person class by using the object define property function. So the details of the object.define property function are beyond the scope of this chapter. But just to summarize, we use it to add a function called course onto the class it decorates. And for now, this function just returns the string angular2. So now if we create an instance of asim, this instance of asim has this other function, this function called course, which we didn't define in the person class, but was added by the course decorator, it dynamically added a function. So now if we try and compile the decorator's file, we see two errors. Well, the first one is complaining that experimental support for decorators is a feature that is subject to change in a future release set the experimental decorators option to remove this warning. Now, if you actually look in the tsconfig file for all of our other Angular work, you can see that the experimental decorators flag has actually been set. We can set it on the command line when compiling with the dash dash experimental decorators. Now, when I execute that, we still actually get the second error. Property course does not exist on type person. So, TypeScript's complaining that it can't see this function, it can't see it on the type of person, so it thinks we're doing something wrong. There's currently no way to kind of switch off the reporting of these errors, but also at the same time, and this is a bit of a gotcha, whether or not TypeScript reports an error, it will still compile the JavaScript file, so it's actually still compiling and generating the file. It's just reporting that there is an error. So actually, we can still run JavaScript file that gets created and it prints out Angular 2, which is what we expect to get printed out when we call asim.course. So that's how you create a no argument decorator, but how do we pass arguments to our decorator? Like the way the at component decorator works in Angular. So how we do that is we actually create a function that returns a decorator. So I'm going to create a function called capital course, and we're gonna to pass to that function a configuration object. That function is going to return our old decorator function, so return function course. We actually don't even need to give it a name anymore. And instead of passing back the hard-coded string angular2, we can just pass config.course, so the property course on the passed in configuration object. And in fact, let's call it student, not course. 
So now to use this decorator, we just decorate our class like before. But we can also pass in an object, our config object. So we can just say course angular two. So now just like before, let's compile our TypeScript file. We're still gonna get the same error, but it doesn't matter. And then we can just call decorators. And again, we get Angular 2 printed out to the console. In summary, decorators are a new feature of TypeScript and they will be coming into the ES7 version of JavaScript. They are used throughout the Angular 2 code, but they are nothing to be scared of. With decorators, we can configure and customize our classes at design time. They are just functions. Functions that can be used to add metadata, properties, or other functions to the thing that they are attached to. So if you're looking for more information about decorators, a collection of useful decorators for use in your own projects, or just to read and learn, can be found from this link, which I'll provide in the course description.